So we're going to start these density problems remembering some things that we learned with the PowerPoint. The first is how to draw the density triangle. So you just start by drawing a triangle and you bisect it twice. And then you're going to remember DMV, where you go to get your license. It's D in the bottom left-hand corner, M on the top, V on the bottom. Remember that D stands for density and its unit is going to be grams per milliliter. M stands for mass and its unit is going to be grams. And V stands for volume and its unit is going to be milliliters. The way you use this triangle is you cover up the letter that you are looking for. So I'm going to do a little box. So let's say I'm trying to solve for density. I would cover up density and the two letters left are M over V. So density is going to equal mass over volume. So there's your, your formula. Let's say we want to find M. So I move my little square up there. Now it's going to be M equals D times V because they're next to each other. And finally, V is going to equal mass over density. So that way, you can use the triangle to find all different kinds of formulas. So let's get started doing some practice problems. The first one we're going to do is number one. Remember that we're going to underline things that we are given, and we are going to circle what we are looking for. We are also going to write on this left-hand side are knowns, we call them. So what is the density, what is the mass, what is the volume? So if we read, a student determines that a piece of an unknown material has a mass of 5.85 grams and a volume of 7.57 milliliters. What is the density of the material? So I've underlined and circled, now I'm going to fill in my knowns. So the mass M is 5.854 grams given right in the problem and the volume next is 7.57 milliliters. Those are written right in the problem. It's asking you to solve for density so we're going to do a little question mark to know that that's what we're solving for. We're going to use the density triangle and find our formula which is going to be D density equals M for mass over V for volume. So there's your formula. We're going to plug in our numbers. You do not have to use the units when you plug in your numbers. Just the number is fine. And 7.57. Then I'm going to plug into my calculator and solve, rounding to two decimal places. So in this case, my answer should be 0.77. And my unit for density is grams per milliliter. When I am checking this, when I am grading it, I'm going to look for a couple things. I'm going to look for here that you have all your knowns listed. I'm going to look for the formula, your work plugged into the formula, and your answer with the unit. That's a total of five points. So you get a total of five points for the problem. If you're missing one of these things, for example, if you don't show the formula here, you're going to get minus one and only get four points. So make sure you're showing all the work like I'm showing you here. Let's go to the next one. The next one is number three. So again, I'm going to underline what I'm given, circle what I'm trying to find out. So it says mercury has a density of 13.5 grams per milliliter. How much space would 50 grams of mercury occupy? This one's a little trickier. Let's read our nose first. So it says right in the problem of the density is 13.5 grams per milliliter. I'm going to skip the part that I circle, which is how much space, and I'm going to skip to 50 grams. Now, it doesn't say mass, but I know a gram is a unit of mass. So 50 grams goes with the end. Now, there's two ways to figure out you're solving for volume. One, that's the only variable left. So obviously, it's going to have the exclamation point. The other one is what I circled, the how much space. Volume is a measure of how much space an object takes up. So that's what we're solving for here, which is V. 
Use our density triangle, find our formula, which is V equals M over D, mass divided by volume. I'm sorry, mass divided by density. Plug in your numbers without units. So the mass is 50. The density is 13.5. Divide around to two decimal places. So it's going to be 3.70 if I'm rounding correct. And the unit for density, I'm sorry, for volume is going to be milliliters. So my answer is 3.70 milliliters. Again, notice I have my knowns, my formula, my work plugged in, my answer with my unit. I will get full credit for this question. Okay, last one. The density of silver is 10.49 grams per milliliter. If a sample of pure silver has a volume of 12.99 milliliters, what would be the mass? So it outright gives me the density, which is 10.49 grams per milliliter. The question says, and I have circled, what is the mass? So the mass is going to get my question mark. That's what I'm solving for. And then in the problem, it tells you the volume is 12.99 milliliters. Again, use my density triangle and find that M mass equals density times volume this time. So M is going to be 10 equal sign. It's going to be 10.49 times 12.99. Go ahead and calculate that, round to two decimal places, and you're going to get 136.27, and then mass is measured in grams.